everybody I guess we can go on to start. So so hello, good afternoon or uh, so today I'll be speaking about I'm Jan Kaya, I'm a mountain practitioner in Dolnuk Kiel, but most of the work I'll be speaking about here today I didn't do. <laughs> I just met people, I helped to design it, it was great. You know, other people did the real work of coding it, like Joseph Miller, who took the phone, he did it, and other guys. So, you know, it's kind of interesting to see what I'll be speaking about today, but I'll be speaking about the story of even uh, in, in Linux, and then the big about the notify works in Kernel, what uh, features originally support, and then how we expanded it to like, support monitoring of our system. And in the recent work, it was just like creating my Linux, uh, but it's supported by the hierarchy description uh, using a text file. Uh, so first, a bit of story of fast notification. So basically, the generic general idea of fast notification is that you want to learn uh, about some events in the past system, mostly about changes, but it could suppress only changes in an efficient way. So like, in a naive approach, you could constantly pass a file or a directory that will be configured to functions, and when that change, then you decide to like, reload. If it works, but you know, it's not very programmable. So it's not sufficiently fast to learn. You have these like needs of learning about changes for various purposes, like for the system logs, or for the search, kind of testing to compare the file, or even such a simple thing as your file open dialog is it's using this fast notification behind the back to reload the content of the dialog when and uh, so this notification framework is just so this could be a more efficient way. And in I then has five extensions which will be used to do more things, but I'll speak about those later. So like this started pretty early in the like dot four kernel days, uh, this notify this was pretty rudimentary. Basically you hope it works on the directory and then you could call a like functional control. In the directory, and then you see the signal that there's something changed in the directory. Now, we have multiple problems. One of which was like the signals in the mix is not related, so it's like it has all sorts of interesting cases. Uh, and then it requires like to keep the directory open if you are to receive information from the directory, which then gets passed out, and that's all sorts of like. So that's why I notify was introduced uh, in 2005, so that might be 2613. And there it already allowed you to monitor both of the files and directories for changes, and you didn't have to keep them open. So like that you can be a fine amount of pattern, and this is just it would be up to the impact of the notification map that are placed inside the file system. Uh, and if actually Notify is good enough for a lot of use cases uh, or directories and so on. The only problems with I notify mostly come from when you try to monitor like directories or even the whole file system. And it is practically impossible to do with I notify uh, because you know there are always traces like when the new directories are being created or some move happens, uh, then it's for something you have to do. And second problem is when they say if you somehow need to open, let's say, the project which is which has generated event, then with I notify you actually don't have a like how to identify a given code, but it has to be open in order to be things that have been changed that the object was not in place and so on. So uh, that's why actually I think files. Into 636 in 2006, so it's also 14 years ago. Uh, and it's primarily motivated by the need of high scale research, which is kind of fun. So, for Linux, that's what it is. Like, the 
Irving could put in those FTEs from you know, to some sync or whatever, uh, uh, and they needed to connect this so that they don't get stuck by resistance in those machines. And so, uh, the opening files, the files, and then they could be put into the other hybrid layer, which is just fine on the side. Uh, so, I can try to do the first, so, so let me show you. Uh, so, FX5 follows the kind of, let's say, proven, <laughs> proven, proven way how to design the KDS like this. So, you choose the first people, like, okay, not to it, you create the uh, notification system from the system group, which is like object, and this object, then you, then you can do all the other stuff. Uh, now, originally, I can submit class. Uh, now, relatively recently, I extended. So now, if you notice, I work for this level, but with Python, it's mostly to kind of subset what it is to Python. And it's mostly, I notice, I like Python a little bit more accessible uh, to the Kubernetes by API as well. Uh, now, if you can see this, uh, in this system, it's all based on the different. To this notification group and uh, find a set of flags. Uh, the first set of flags contains like what kind of information is actually returned with the event uh, and uh, also something like the list of the notification group, like whether the number of events that can be up to between the group is counted or not. Uh, You can also compute the type of the notification group. Uh, the original edition needed such even to put the meaning of type over time. So you can have two types of notification group. The first type is class content, the type of the future event, the class content, and also mediate access to files through permission event. As you see at the, on the next slide. And the And it also allows you to, like, to wait for additional events which are used for the hierarchy for service management. So, to the fact that I get towards the end of my talk. Uh, so, once you have this notification group created, uh, you can start to see the notification in mind, which basically tells you what events you want to receive. So, uh, if you're calling the same as Pantar, you can put the notification mark on the file. So that's, uh, on the in fact, you know, it's well that you know, the file you are essentially giving is like you are interested in watching the file or right? so that you are interested in getting some money from. Now, originally, I think that file supports only getting events like notification of access, which means receipt, notification from modify, open, then open and or public, uh, basically, which means that the file is being open for execution. And then events generated as code on the file. So, so they support that as well, uh, because actually, when you open both events work, uh, the modified set events are never generated for them. Uh, but so, you know, this actually the I mark in the actual thing is to represent the events of the file as well. So it's already present and this is what's putting it over to I notify. So if you have a trial flag, flag, that means that you are interested not only what the thing is that set itself, but also what the thing follow is chosen, like the direct chosen of things that are designed for you. So when you say like, open mark of the direct chosen that you child is what you're receiving whenever any file in the set set is being opened. Uh, and then concept uh, I notice I has two topics are also so-called ignore mark. So if you set the ignore mask flex to flex, then basically you are say, saying in this event you are not interested in, you know, which you which objects you ignore generally. And it may seem like silly on the first slide, but if you 
giusto venire a combine Open mark on the directory, and you are receiving open from both world directory. But then, you know, there is some file which is written in the system, but you are not interested in it. So you can place a similar mark on the file, and then you will not be receiving information open on the file, but you will be receiving information from the open system and the other files in the directory. So this uh, for the similar mark, and that's really what the uh, for, so, for example, like you are spawning files and when they go to the file, it's fine. So, it's like ignore mouse on this file because they don't get any further information. Now, because of this antivirus thing, also, what, like how it was originally implemented, ignore mouse gets automatically cleared when the file is not fine because the antivirus is not needed to risk it. There was like a break in the normal of the CDN, and you can really be able to of the normal which like has a bit of acceptable behavior of the administration of Microsoft and the things that you can find which are that we are not too interested in. And uh, now, if you have the notification mark placed, uh, then you can start the and this is an event that is speaking of the boxes or of the notification boxes. So when you read from the boxes file before, uh, you will get back the instruction of the slide. It's a text file that you have to the sequence structure of the at least box or the boxes file before. But it has built in like the length of the structure and I think it's a lot more about the box. So it's good to be flexible. Most importantly, it is a mask because you can even open on the file of the object. But as the file descriptor before, open the file descriptor pointing to the object that is generated in the image, so the file of the director. And then uh, it has the AP precise number of the object that calls this event. Uh, now, so let's at least start the point of event. And you know, if I also introduce something which is called a permission event. So, so this was originally to describe the open permission and access permission event. So these are generated on open and on open. And then new local type of open access permission was introduced also, which is generated on open public permission. And these special events are actually substantially different from the other ones because they allow you to make access to files. So what happens is that if you put some print using the system call, you generate this event in the execution process is paused until the notification group replies to this event. So basically send the event to two different notification groups to keep the status to read it and has to write a response uh, to this notification group. Basically by writing to Notification group. This is actually not a response structure. Uh, and in the response, you know, it identifies which events, which event is responding by using the file description, which is the directory event, and then the response to the system says yes or no. So if it says yes, the system will continue. If it says no, then the system will just fail to do it by sending from behind. Uh, now, obviously, the process with mediating just like with the great Firefox mediating process itself is very hard to achieve. For example, if you are using help libraries which are actually understanding the different process files and you don't have access to the root functions or some of these like accessibility solutions, you know, that you can really uh, monitor all the open systems and then they have Many, 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 many reports of this block, but all these reports don't be certain that you know, they are very sure they are working against themselves. Uh, okay, so monitoring uh, of the file system. So, 
you know, I thought that I can literally say you can watch my cover of the five things. But in fact, uh, they are monitoring the amount of time. Uh, now, you can have a five set amount of time. If you have a five set amount of time, then you have a five set amount of time. this was working only for a part to an effect. But uh, over the years, uh, we have worked and expanded into this problem. Now, all the functions provide a means of test ID that can be used to use to identify the file system in the system. And uh, also, all file systems can provide a meaningful file handle. By meaningful, I mean that it is unique and defined. Is not necessarily usable for opening a file, it's only for those who can relate to the report. But if it's a good guarantee, that is fine. But you need to identify objects in the file system. Uh, okay, now, so we have this, uh, this file handle information, and we now need to talk about the way to use it. That is the easy ones. So, obviously, in the old structure, there is no way how to. Uh, so we somehow expand it, and at least I will make a short tour about the I design. So original was I was thinking about change to quite a few anything in structure that is being reported. Yeah. So if you have a different length of the file to be identified in the whole region, then it contains the origin of the structure and it can be used by the data length, which is again the length of the structure that is being reported. Supposing that you can change the event, the height of structure can be longer. Now, this is actually fancy about what this is always done. Because most of the first person just don't care about any version of the pipeline, they just assume that the time you know, to create the structure is going to be pretty much to be always by you. So when you change the version, they just have to explore it and just fetch the whatever they get from, from the same method. So if you want to identify this in a way, Way you have to be an extreme fit. So, what we have done, the even length will be pretty useful, and that could be even. So, uh, basically, 
You can how exactly supplement even information start to look like, but you know, there isn't much, much, much interest in there. Uh, Have the parent directory, what is, what is the name of the object in the directory? So, the name flag, which is kind of something not associated with supplemental information. So, this is the name of the object in the file that we can call directory. This will just because the directory object is the directory. 
for Easter, right? Uh, the inside of one, the aesthetic one, the new thing, which is the traditional form, which is not going to that thing, and it is a close to feature of the close to the feature of the aesthetic of the Chinese side. So these are personal things to which I'm not part of our solution, which is not part of the the name is actually because how I not to construct the system, it generates one instance for the power, like that actually which is more fine move from, and then for the creation of the name generally like move to even have. So this is and this is why in practical it wasn't required to match this move from the to the east. And this is difficult because the even can be ordered so that you find it pretty quickly and so on, but also you cannot find it and it can also be ordered even. Uh, uh, so then it's not really it's very difficult to actually put them. So that's why this is finding the name even which actually contains all this information at one time. So we'll go to the question of this one and we done this. Uh, Directory events, what we also uh, introduced is like another type of file. So, information, of course, private file. And this was kind of a different thing of this file actually introduces. So, when you get the information about directory input, uh, then basically the FID document information from the directory itself is done to each of the events. The real FID is the same. Like that, right? yeah. But we want to sometimes we want to know what we want the output to be used in the last so, yeah. mm -hmm. Good idea. Uh, if, if a rename happens and you're watching for two and and renames, do you have both events? No, no, no. <laughs> the rename. Oh, great. Thank you. So 
If the thing gets addicted, you get an event for that. No. No. Development comes in cycles <laughs> over the stars, and it's again one of those Several ways, implement this Also, you can imagine that Yeah, 
are basically very similar to the So they are similar in the way that the system calls the generate and the way that the user puts the data, yes or no. If it is correct, then we compute the system, although it may be no, and then we can find the signature system called error. So in the air case, of course, we have to use this where we put the data no on my error, like it cannot be the data for whatever reason, but I'm not going to make a very good example of the you have to help with the structural notification group, which are the most typical common in this class. Uh, you need to be able to use this in the common events. So you have to be able to use it, like system time or practice time or couple of things, so that you can use them. And uh, we have to check the solution, three classes, and three modifiers. And 
do that, like a separate mount point, what you, you should probably do for the user space implementation is uh, create a detached mount that is private to you completely. Uh, and then it's not visible anywhere in the file system, it's just for the for the daemon itself. So you need to create a Thank you. 
idea, and so we have discussed this today. <laughs> this guy now, how this is going to be in our system. So, yeah, so it's not really that the solution. Uh, since we might be assigned the idea of when the new friends is the kind of money that is to go out there to get to the children, and if they are in, instantiated in detail, this kind of works fine. Uh, again, you have problems because the question then goes back to the director of the country can get into the subject of the children and wouldn't uh, not be able to let the request to put it inside it. It's practically impossible to do in a single communication. So, uh, you know, there has to be some such a coordination. Nation between China and the USA, so if we could do this from the USA, the USA does this list of operative things all the time. So, I can imagine, but you know, the fact that we want to so we don't have something which is about which we don't know, so we will only be able to do something. Or maybe we can have a team and we are watching something, but then, you know, we are going to get the cost by making it better than we could do. Kind of open problems, you know, we don't have to do any action to this, but you know, that makes it interesting. I can kind of record the whole direction of the file system in notification is this practice of change notification session. So that's the most recent platform. It can help you to know about the function we just already made. This is the kind of thing that was the publication of me, and which is actually not quite like in Windows or on Mac OS, they have quite a lot of services for this within the operating system. But the Nook doesn't really have an application for this. Each application implements its own props in the accordion by peculiar ways with different problems. Yeah. And this is cool, so uh, thank you for asking if you have any questions. You can go to this, but I don't want to have you from, from mine. <laughs> I don't have a question about uh, for notify specifically, but I wonder can we directly notify? Uh, I'm not sure if anybody can use this thing, but yeah, I can hope because by the end of this question, we might identify a long time ago. So, yeah, I looked at, I, I had to touch that code recently for because of some uh, unrelated, well, cleanup work, and I was looking at it and I was like, who is trusting this? Possibly, this looks broken. Yeah, it is. It is so, I have to try that to say that it's still working, but like, you know, it's yeah. can be possibly by and even if somebody can play. Because I had an experience in like 15, 10 years now. Yeah, I just wanted to say that I, many people don't know, but if you're using a recent distro, then you probably already have uh, on your system installed the newer version of iNotify Wait, iNotify Wait and iNotify Watch. I think uh, I know if I tools 4.0 has the tool FS, like file system, FS notify watch, FS notify wait, which know how to use the FA notify uh, alternative and also have the dash dash file system uh, for watching, uh, for using all those new features. So this is like the reference implementation. If, if anybody's interested in uh, using it or copying it. Modified, 
access uh, notifications, I saw that the file system coverage is reasonable. One that was missing, and I want to make sure that it's a for it, is uh, the, the only reason it's like this was on the radar, so I found the only reason it's missing is because I was testing the file system. So, like Jan said, it's, it's not. You have to have a special hook in, in page faults if your file system implements page fault. If it doesn't, and just use the domain layer stuff, then it just works. But we didn't want to just let go low, turn it on, and, and find problems. So, like, it, it would be simple enough to turn on. I also wonder what would be the use case of doing this on Fuse, <laughs> as Fuse already can implement HSM. So um, we've had uh, some outstanding, uh, periodically people ask about the audit uh, system and whether or not we can watch an entire directory uh, hierarchy and be able to look for new additions and things like that. Uh, currently the way things work is that if a directory gets deleted, then the rule itself gets deleted, which is suboptimal because then you might, not, you might need some automated way to re-add it if that directory reappears. So the ability to watch an entire hierarchy would be useful. And it sounds like you've uh, suggested that that might not be particularly practical. So I'm aware of this situation. I went to the So it, it would need some kind of recursive thing to be able to look at any new directory create and then be able to recurse into that menu. I think we are done for today. We can continue after a time, so we are all hours, then I leave. <laughs>